Hello, class. How are you? Fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? Hello, teacher. Thank I'm you. good. How was your day today? It's not bad. It's work hard and enough. <laughs> work hard and party hard. And party hard. Work hard and party harder. <laughs> yeah. All right. No rain today. And for the sound of soya pan, um, raining a little, a little bit. Oh, okay. Give me one second. Let me see here. Oh God, I'm looking for, I'm opening up the platform. Oh, there you go. Do you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> Okay, so let's let's do this listenings. Instructions, listen to a conversation between two friends and check if it's true or false. Sue found some money where she works. Let's listen. Listen to two people talking about their friend Sue. Then check true or false. Hey, Mark, did you hear about Sue? What about her? She found a thousand dollars. Really? Where? She found it while cleaning up last weekend at the restaurant where she works. Wow! Did she find out who the money belongs to? She told me she found it under a table, and lots of different people were sitting at that table all night. So she has no idea whose money it is. Nope. She's going to wait until someone calls the restaurant and asks about the money. She didn't even tell the manager. Why not? She wants to keep the money if no one calls about it. Hmm. But I think she should tell her manager. They might be able to find the people by looking at the receipts. Yeah, but on the other hand, if no one calls about the money, then why shouldn't she keep it? Well, the money isn't hers. I think she should at least try to find out who it belongs to. Maybe the person just forgot the name of the restaurant or something. Yeah, I guess you're right. If I lost money in a restaurant, I would hope someone would try to find me. Exactly. Okay, so Sue found some money where she works. True. $1,000. Sue tried to contact um, contact people who, who were at the restaurant on the night. She found the money. False. Oh. The woman thinks Sue should tell her manager. True. At first, Mark thinks Sue should keep the money. True. True. I would keep the money. 
<clears throat> okay, part two. Listen to a conversation between a student and his advisor. Then check the correct answers. Hi, Cal. Please sit down. What can I help you with today? I'm just having some problems adjusting and I need some advice. Okay. What are you having trouble with? Well, I can't seem to understand my professor's accent. I've been studying Mandarin for four years, and it's discouraging to have to ask her to repeat herself all the time. That's understandable. But you've only been here a few weeks. Be patient. By next month, your Mandarin comprehension will have improved. I guess so. I didn't realize there were so many different types of accents. My classmates are hard to understand, too. Well, you can't expect everyone to sound the same. Where you're from, people have different accents, don't they? You're right, of course. I just worry about doing poorly in class. I'm sure your professor understands that it takes time to adjust to a new language. I hope so. There's something else, too. What's that? Well, you see, I'm vegetarian, and when I went out with my professor and classmates for lunch, they kept offering me meat. I felt rude refusing it. Hmm. I can speak to your professor about that if you'd like. Could you? Of course I want to be culturally sensitive, but I just don't eat meat. I'm sure your professor will understand after I talk to her. Thanks a lot. I feel a lot better now. Okay, so before arriving, Cal studied Mandarin? For four years. Yeah. For four years, yes. Cal feels discouraged to ask for his professor to repeat, to repeat to herself. To herself. Yes. Cal's advisor encouraged them to be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Cal is worried oh. about offending his classmate and professors. Good. All right. So choose the uh, choose the terms and words. Choose the terms and words. Choose the term that best completes each sentence. Doing something that is against the law, it's illegal. Illegal. Oh, illegal. It's illegal. Is disapproving. Illegal. Illegal. Yeah, okay. Someone who is always in a bad mood is? Disagreeable. Disagreeable. Punishing one person and not another for the same crime is? Unfair. 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 Being blank is telling someone how you really feel. Honest. 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 Being on time to work and doing a good job is? Responsible. Excuse me, class. Hold on.
Thank you. I'm sorry, class. They were calling me from the from from Inglés Corporativo. Me están preguntando si estaba en clase. Yo, yes. <laughs> Being on time to work and doing a good job is responsible. Is responsible. It's responsible behavior. <laughs> Making decisions when you are overly emotional can be. Irrational. Yes. Some parents are blank of their children's career choices. Disapproving. 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 Being friends with someone so you can borrow a car is? Part two, instructions. Circle the words that best complete each sentence. I wouldn't return someone's wallet, blank Unless. a large amount of cash in it. Unless. Unless. Okay. I wouldn't return someone's wallet unless a large amount of cash in it. Unless a large amount of cash is in it. I would buy a new gadget, blank. It really served the purpose that I need. Only if. Only if. Very good. Only if it served the purpose. All right. Excuse me. Okay, next we have, I wouldn't give money to charity. Blank, I had a favorite cause. Um, Unless. Unless. The job paid that, I'm sorry. Blank, the job paid me a lot of money. It still wouldn't take it. I'd hate it. Even if. Even if. I would use a fake student ID to get a discount. Blank, I was really broke. Only if. Yeah, if yes. I wouldn't report a classmate blank he or she had cheated on a test. Unless. Only if, yes. All right, it says here, instructions, complete the sentence with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Just type the verb in its correct form. No capital letter or period is needed. I wish I blank so much at the party. Now I am embarrassed. I'm talking. 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 I wish I what? I wish I hadn't talked. Talk. I haven't talked. I haven't. I didn't talk. I wish I hadn't talked so much at the party. Now I am embarrassed. If I had looked, if I had looked where I was going, I blank over uh, over that tree root. Well, I have to. Well, have have to have I wouldn't have tripped. Only if my professor blank less homework on Friday. Have only I wish I blank more time with my little sister growing up. And spend. Uh, spend. I wish I had spent. If I blank harder, I could have been a professional musician. I'll practice. I'll practice. All right. Part two, it says instructions. Complete the sentence with the verb in parentheses. Use the future perfect or future perfect continuous tense. Just type the verb in its correct form. No capital letter or period is needed. By next month, 
Marcy like her master's degree. Will have completed. Will have completed. Will have completed. Mm -hmm. By January, Paula blank Japanese for four years. Will have, Will been, have been studying. studying. Been or just studied? Been. 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 Well, the two are correct. So she will have been studying. Tyler Blank, by the time we see him next month. We will have graduated. Have graduate. Graduated. Graduated. Soon we will blank for three hours. Don't you think we should take a break? We have been studying. We have been studying. Soon we will have been. We will have been studying. Studying. We have been studying. Soon we will have been studying for three hours. Don't you think we should have? We should take a break. When Jenny comes to visit, she blank her name. She blank her new car across the country. We have we will have driven. driven. We'll have driven. Driven. We we'll have driven. Mm -hmm. By next year, I blank the violin for half my life. We have, we have been, been playing. playing. Study. It's studied. It's studied. Yes. Okay. Although the two we are correct. We have been studied. We we'll have studied. I've been. I've been. This is not correct. According to the platform, yes. <laughs> Why, teacher? Como que dijera, he estado estudiado. Aha. Because it's habrá estado, will have been, and then you need a verb with an ing. Like, look, there's another example here. You sure. Look. Could you please show the first part, please? Yes. Look at number four. Soon we will have been studying for three hours. So that means at five, they studied. And seven, and they're still studying. Lo mismo acá. By January, Paula will have been studying Japanese for four years. She started in 2018, and she's still studying. Number one. Oh, assigned. If only my professor had assigned. Okay, that makes sense. Number one. Number one, please. Hadn't okay. talked. Hadn't talked. Okay. Yeah. So this is not correct, class. It's will have been studying or will have studied. Okay, teacher. Piensen, lo dicen. De aquí en enero, Paula ya habrá estudiado japonés por cuatro años. Ya habrá estudiado. Pero si voy a poner have been studying, De aquí en enero, Paola habrá estado estudiando japonés por cuatro años. 
So after have been, you need a verb with ing. Next, it says, fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Instructions. Complete the sentence with the following prepositions about, in, of, of, with, and to. Just type the preposition. No capital letter or period is needed. Judy is really looking forward to her to study to a work program. Mm -hmm. to, to her study abroad program. No. Abroad program. Yes. When Darcy travels, she likes to be familiar with, with, with the public transportation. With the public transportation. Barry is excited, blank, living with a host family abroad. About. 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 One thing Kim is scared is not speaking the language well. Oh. 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 Jeremy is participating, the new mm. cultural class. In, In the In. Linda's parents are aware of her interest in travel. About. Of. 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 Sir. Okay, good. <clears throat> says part two instructions. Complete the sentence with the following words assured, started, reliant, informing, minded, sensitive, judgmental, and motivated. Just type the word, no capital letter or period is needed. When you study abroad, you have to be self. Started. 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 If you're not open, you can miss some interesting things. Open. Mind. Mind. Minded. 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 Yes, if you're not open-minded. Number three, just remember to be non about other people's customs. Judgmental. Unjudgmental. 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 Yes. In order not to offend people, you must be culturally sensitive. 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 So that means you have to be very passive. If you're not culture sensitive, <coughs> don't go. Mm -hmm. It's easier to make new friends if you are self and not too shy. Well, for sure. Self. Motivator, maybe. Assured. Assured? Sure. Yeah, I'll go more self assured. Living by yourself in another country is, is, is easier if you are self. Reliant. 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 Okay. <laughs> Reliant. Okay. Reliant. 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 Non blank people usually draw more attention to themselves. Conforming. Non conforming. Non conforming. To learn a language on your own, you must be self motivated. 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 Self motivated. 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 Okay, it says here reading instructions, read the interview, then check true or false. Here, let me read for you. We have we have Vane Magazine speaking with Sarah Campbell. Vane Magazine spoke with Sarah Campbell from the All Star Women's Basketball Team. Here's what she had to say. Vane Magazine, Sarah, you have been a controversial figure this season. Can you talk about that? Sarah Campbell, sure. You know, I'm brutally honest. I say what I feel. 
some of my numbers have a some of some of my team members have a hard time with that. They don't want to hear that they're not performing as well as they could or that they're not working hard enough. Do you think that some of your words have torn your team apart rather than help it? Maybe. If I had been more compassionate, perhaps we wouldn't have been offended. Perhaps people wouldn't have been offended. I should have more sensitive. I should be more sensitive. I'm sorry. I should have been more sensitive. And I'll put it again. There you go. Maybe. If I had been more compassionate, perhaps people wouldn't have been offended. I should have been more sensitive, but I can't lie. I think we can recover from this and become a better team. VM, what about your personal life? Well, I don't really like to talk about myself. I'm pretty discreet and I don't want to be in the spotlight. It's hard being me. What do you mean? I mean, I'm a tall woman with a loud voice. People are scared of me. It's hard to get close to people. What would you like to say? Excuse me. What would you like to say to your uh, to our readers about that? I'm actually pretty tender. You just have to get past my tough exterior. Thanks for talking with us, Sarah. It was a pleasure. Do you understand what is? I'm actually pretty tender. A what, teacher? Excuse me. Where she says, I'm actually pretty tender. I'm actually pretty tender. Um, I don't know what the meaning of tender. Tender is something like sensitive. Okay. And then that's mean that she is very sensitive. Yes. Okay. Love me tender. Love mm -hmm. me true. All right. Let me get out of this page. <clears throat> so Sarah keeps her feelings to herself. False. 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 Only her personal life, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sarah wished she had been more sensitive? True. 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 Sarah likes to talk about her personal life? False. 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 People are afraid of Sarah. True. True. Instructions here. Read Jenny's travel diary. Then check true or false. It says, I finally made it to Stanbul. The bus, the, um, the bus here was crowded and there weren't enough seats. So some people had to stand up all night. If I, if I had arrived any later, I would have been standing up too, as it was. I was sitting next to a man who snored all night and finally got to sleep around 4 a.m. It was so hot on the bus that it felt like a sauna. But an hour later, we stopped for breakfast and they had, and they all, wait, wait, wait. By, uh, but an hour later, we stopped for breakfast and all they had at the rest stop was sweet pastry. Do you know what is sweet pastry? No. What do you mean? No. Pastry is repostería. Mm -hmm. Eh, y dicen sweet porque hay salada también. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok. 
que nosotros le decimos pan salado. Yes. Yeah. Hay pan dulce y hay repostre. So, in English, yeah, it's sweet bread and um, pastry. The last thing I wanted was sugar that was going to keep me awake even longer. So I just ate some crackers and tried to go back to sleep. Not a chance. The upside is I got to see the Haga Sofia at the sunrise as our bus arrived. What a beautiful sight. Jenny had to stand up on the bus in Istanbul. JJ, are you there? No. Okay. So Jenny had to stand up on the bus in Istanbul? False. 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 Sirham. Yeah. Did you ever watch the movie Midnight Express? Yeah. Very yeah. Good. Every time, every time I listen to Istanbul, I remember that movie. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I saw in Channel Six. Yeah, that movie is very. It's, I love that movie. Man. Yeah, it's very nice. I recommend to see that movie. Yes, yeah, it's very good. Mm. I remember, remember in downtown when all the DVDs cost one dollar? Yeah. By Catedral, there was a man, he sold only classic movies, only classics. Wow. No, mm -hmm. no, no, like Fast and the Furious. He sold <laughs> classic movies. License Furious is mm -hmm. number 10. Yes. <laughs> yes. But but he sold them for three dollars, but you, I think it was worth it because, in that time, where could you find Midnight Express? Yeah, but Cla this story is true. Or it was. Uh, it, no, it was a true story. Uh, true story. Yes. Wow. After that movie, United States, they ch they made a rule that, where. If an American gets arrested in a different country, they will be arrested in the embassy of the United States. Yeah. Because of that movie. It's a very good movie. Okay, the man next to Jenny had trouble sleeping? False. 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 Do you have trouble sleeping? Me, no. Me either. I fall asleep <laughs> anywhere. Yes. Jenny ate pastries for breakfast. <clears throat> true. Uh, true. Not false. False. Yeah, false. She ate crackers. Yeah. It was, uh -huh. wait, I'm sorry, we're number th three. Number three. It, it was three. hot in the bus? True. 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 Okay. Jenny ate pastries for breakfast? False. False. What did, what did she eat? Do you remember? Split. Uh, no, I she ate crackers. Mm -hmm. Jenny, what is that, teacher? What's crackers, crackers? Crackers is like uh, Ritz. <laughs> uh, crackers uh, are galletas saladas. Okay. I love crackers. In, in coffee? Yes. yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. There are something, there is a brand that is, I think it's Pozuelo. They have a very good galleta saladas. A very really? good crackers. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I love crackers. You can eat mm -hmm. crackers with anything, with a tun, tuna fish. Yes. With, um, with anything. Yes. Jenny arrived in Istanbul at sunrise. True. 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 All right. And we finished. Yes. How many people, of, uh, how many of us are here today? 
Oh, there's two, two, two. Okay, so listen, I I want to break you up in groups. The only problem is I don't know who is here today. I know Irena's here. I know Milton is here, Sirham. And Mr. Galaxy A12. Um, teacher, I'm here. Oh, Sarah's here. Thank you. Yeah, but I had a problem because my baby, she doesn't, she doesn't sleep. She has problems sleeping. Yeah. Really? But in, uh, she is sleeping right now. You know, She's sleeping right now. You know, I am so, so lucky that I don't know what that problem is. You know, like babies wake up at midnight and they can't go to sleep. I never had that problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah never. It's a big problem <laughs> every day. Yeah, no, my son, when he goes to sleep, he wakes up until the next day. I I hear many parents complaining, oh, man, mm -hmm. my son woke up at one in the morning. He wouldn't go to, no, my son never had that problem. <laughs> Do, does your daughter sleep in the day? Uh, no, she is, she is sleep for 50 minutes or 20 minutes, that, oh. only that. Okay, okay. But at night, she has a problem. <laughs> Maybe, she has a lot of energy. Yes. Maybe today, if she had not slept in the afternoon, she would be sleeping in this moment. No. Because, it was an example. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, because when in the in the afternoon, uh, she played with my uh, mother, daughter, mm -hmm. and all day. But when my second baby slept mm -hmm. for twenty or or fifty minutes every day. Uh, she slept to maybe around 11 to 11.50 o'clock. Okay. One thing. O'clock, solo es para hora fija, completa. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. So let's say 120 o'clock doesn't exist. It's 120. Okay. Yeah. So o'clock we only say incomplete. Okay, thank you. No, you're welcome. Good. Let me see. Irena. Yes, teacher. Can you give me an example? Kobe Bryant died, correct? Yes, he was in an accident, right? Yes, he was in a helicopter. Helicopter With his accident. Family. Yes. No, only his daughter. Ah, yeah, yeah, only his daughter. Yes. Can you give me an example if maybe he would be alive today? If maybe he will be alive today if. He never get in to the helicopter. If he hadn't. If he hadn't. So, if Taking he hadn't the helicopter. Get, in, get into the helicopter. Exactly. Yes, he would have taken if he hadn't taken. Maybe he would be alive today if he hadn't taken the helicopter that day that day yes that day okay mm -hmm. mr jacko are you there maritza are you there 
yes, I'm here. How are you, Marito? Fine, thank you. How's how's life? <laughs> uh, I'm expecting for Friday <laughs> or waiting for Friday. Tomorrow's going to be a terrible day. Much traffic. Yeah. Too much traffic because. Please don't say that, teacher. <laughs> Imagine it's Friday and payday. All day, teacher. Yes. Friday and payday. Yes. Ugh, oh, man. <laughs> I thought that today was Friday. I was thinking. Yeah, me too. For a moment, I thought today was Friday. <laughs> yes. No, me, it, it's the same. I think today is Friday. Yes, right. I don't know why. We have it's this feeling. Uh, yes, because today <laughs> I, I went to my job very late. <laughs> There's a song called Friday I Am In Love. Really? Yeah, listen to it. It's, it says, I don't care if Monday's blue. Tuesday is great and Wednesday too. Thursday, <laughs> I don't care about you. It's Friday I'm in love. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just... It's, it's from very complicated. The cure. Because all people... Um, be became crazy in the morning in the afternoon yes. at night oh my god it's, i don't know why it's very cruel <laughs> yeah yes i i really i really don't like when people are ignorant but um oh man it, it, it's it's a terrible Yes. You know where where I live? I live near. Do you remember Ranchon de Navarra? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. in the mornings, it, not in the autopista, not in the freeway, in the in the part inside. Mm -hmm. In the morning, they sell pupusas. Like they have like stands, toldos, in the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like three pupusas for one dollar. They're horrible. But <laughs> the problem is that people park in the middle of the street. Too bad. In, in, in traffic. It's like and, and they park like it's natural. Yes. And they yeah, and they get angry when people honk. <laughs> and, yes. and, and it's amazing. It's like really, man, you Tres yes. carriles has and like people parked in the middle of the street. And there is another people that uh, stop the cars anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the street and they don't look for a place to stop the car. Just, just stop. Yes, it's true. So I, I'm, I'm expecting a little of that tomorrow. No, in my case... Every day I had a problem that with the policemen and the, I don't know, how do you say the transito, but they caused a big problem because they, they didn't, they didn't have uh, experience in, on the street. Uh, is is very ugly. Yes, they go against against of the traffic light. Yeah, you know where by yeah. that Hospital El Salvador. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the policemen no. they they go crazy. They're giving instructions. I don't think they know. In my case, my my big problem is in Constitución. <laughs> Well, oh, exactly. I, Advocate, I, uh, <laughs> uh, the street. A long, long, long time ago, I lived, I was renting an apartment by Constitución Boulevard. And all I remember is I will never live here. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> include in yeah. Saturday or Sunday. Yes. In Constitución Boulevard. Sisimiles, Sisimiles, and como se llama la otra? Bernal. Oh, my yes. God. 
Yes. There is a traffic light in every corner. <laughs> yes. Including um, Saturday and Sunday. I, it's, it's stressful. But you know what? I think the problem is cars. The, yeah. I, I saw another problem. Yeah. Is the time of the light the the light traffic mm -hmm. it's very short no yes. but you, but you know i i don't know but do you remember maybe 20 years ago there wasn't traffic like like there is today yes but like there is a lot of cars yes no. 20 years ago there was only one car for the family yes now i don't know I don't know why everybody in the family has a car. Yes. Yeah. Which is good, but I don't know. I, I don't know how it's possible because people say, oh, la situación está mala, and everybody has a car. In a then, nice car. In a nice car. Yes. Because, and there is another scene. Uh -huh. sorry, no, go ahead. Go ahead. And in, in at home of the house only have oh, parking yes. for one car. And all the all the cars are on the street, and you have trouble to go to your home, and it's very difficult. It is, yes. And I remember twenty years ago, there was only one car for the family, and maybe that car was very old, but that wasn't important. The important part was that you had a car. Yes. And now everybody has a modern car. Yes. So I yes, think. Yes. I think nowadays. Um, for example, um, they they have a car, all family or three cars for family. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a it's a very good business. I was there's like ten thousand cars coming in every month. Imagine, my goodness! That's why every day I feel that there are a lot of new cars. Uh, and every car has to pay 25 or 30 percent of the cost to the government. There is a big business. Yes. Every day I have I have a stupid idea <laughs> that I I don't know, but I I have a, a flu a flu a car fly. A butterfly car. <laughs> a car with wings. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, the future, and the future car because I oh, it's, it's my stupid idea every day. I was thinking today about that because I told to, to a friend, I don't know what time I'm going to arrive at the office. And the people uh, don't invent don't invent yet uh, the flying cars. Mm -hmm. And she told me, uh, even though they invent, uh, there will be traffic at the air. Yeah. I mean, if we can't drive in ground, do you think we could fly? Oh, man, I can. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's a very good business. My, I, have a, I was speaking with a friend over the weekend. He, he bought a Toyota Hilux. Mm -hmm. And it's in customs, as you say, Madonna customs. Mm -hmm. And um, just for that car, he has to pay nine thousand dollars. My goodness! Wow. Of of tax. Wow. Can can you imagine? And you have ten thousand cars coming in every month. It's a very good business for the government. Yes. yes. So that will never in, stop. In the, in the new rule is because only only enter a car for five years. Uh, oh. Oh. Really, it has to be five, five years, years. Yes. not ten oh, anymore. No, only five, oh, five yeah. years. When oh. when did this start? Uh, almost two twenty. So I can't bring a car from 2015? No. No. 
I didn't know that. Yeah, the, the more orders, for example. The oldest. Uh -huh, oldest, 2018. Really? But no, yes. my, my... Yes. Do not permit the government permit for only five years ago. Old. Old, five years old. Are there exceptions? No, the reason I, I, I didn't know that. That's new for me, but I'm telling you because my cousin, he 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 bring he has like a company, he brings cars. Yes, yes, and yes. my father uh, and yes, Jacko, Mr. Jacko. Yes, uh, it's an exception only for a classic car. Only for classic. Yeah. It's an exception only. But uh, the Sirhan is uh, he reason about the five years he, is he's... only permit. Okay. But, but wow. Toyota 1000 is a classic for, for this country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Like one year ago, my cousin, the, when, when was the COVID? Two years ago? Yes, on 19, on to, to 19, 2019. During that time, my cousin, he brought cars and my father-in-law bought a car. It was a Nissan Rogue and it was 2014, 15. Yeah. Yes, I think the law is from two years ago, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. The law started two years ago. Yes. Yes. Wow. The new rule about hey, it. that's why. Okay, now I, I understand. I, I think I think for this reason the cause for the oldest car, car uh, is increment or maintenance uh, in, in the in the same price. That's because, why, yes. Yeah. That's why cars are expensive now. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was thinking about that. I had a Kia Rio. It was 2011. And I remember I bought it for like $3,500. Mm -hmm. And in one year, I sold it for $4,000, I think. And now that car is $5,500, $6,000. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like cars are crazy yes that's why cars are more expensive now <laughs> hey but you know what that's a good law though because that means less cars will be coming mm. hope so teacher <laughs> yeah, <I know> <laughs> now another problem is motorcycles yes i no, hate them no. sorry i hate them <laughs> somebody have a motorcycle here i'm sorry Yes, it's more dangerous. Yes, the people. I have to to change the carril. How we say the lane? The lane. The lane, and there is a motorcycle. And I try again. There is another motorcycle. My goodness, I but you know, <laughs> I think I think I think there will be a special law in the future about motorcycles because I was listening to the radio. And they were saying that I think I think I need a motorcycle because it's very no, but it's dangerous. No, I would never use a motorcycle. Yes. No, yeah, but it's a principal problem. Yes. But it's more it's more um, better because you can you can go more fast or more <laughs> early or but it's this is, very dangerous. This is, this is the first the first mistake. The spill. <laughs> when I li I listen to uh, La Tribu in the morning. Also I need a uh, uh, I listen to La Tribu in the morning and they have a commercial about motorcycles. Yo siempre lo critico, le digo, wow. Not not Pencho, you know, I, I criticize the, the company. You know, el lema de ellos es, nunca más llegas tarde a ningún lugar. 
motocicletas, no sé qué. <laughs> it's really that teacher. I promise you, if I remember, if I remember, I will send you that the, the name of that company, pero jamás voy a llegar tarde en ningún lugar. Motocicletas, okay. una distribuidora, I don't know. I don't know. That's like saying it's a crazy, it's a crazy name. <laughs> you that's, know. that's like saying no necesitas Uber. Este licor es bueno. No te pone tan, <laughs> uh, you know, like I don't know. <laughs> and no. there is a Uber motorcycle too. Yes, huh? I is that true? Yes. I saw that like last week because I ordered a, a, an Uber for my aunt and then there was an option for a motorcycle. Yes, that is. And motorcycle. I said, okay, well, she, yes, it's just she, my aunt, she lives in Soyapango. And I said, right. okay, Tia, oh, you can go in a, in a, se quiere en camioneta, en un, en un en sedan o en moto. Mm -hmm. En moto is three dollars, Tia. I mean, you... <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> no, I didn't. No, think. But what I was telling you is that I was listening to the radio and they're really going to consider a new law for motorcycles because it's really costing the state, el estado, a lot of money because um, they they always have accidents in the in the seguro, mm -hmm. in the hospital, and they are very big surgeries. Very yes. big surgeries. Ya no hay tanto cirujanos en el, yes. en el seguro. Mm -hmm. And every time, like, there's, every day, there's, like, emergency uh, surgeries, 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 and very difficult surgeries. So I was listening to this person. I, I don't remember if he was a diputado or something, but he said that they will take an, uh, this to uh, la asamblea. To mm -hmm. Congress, mm -hmm. and I don't know if there will be, but it's. I think it's going to be a very difficult decision because. Imagine they say now every motorcycle has to have a, insurance seguro. Mm -hmm. It's good, but it's not correct because then every every car has to have insurance. Yes. So they're going to discuss what to do now. In my opinion, I think, I think to buy a motorcycle should be more complicated. Yes. Because motorcycles vienen en combo in con microondas in, <laughs> in Curaçao, Prado. Have you seen that? Yes, mm -hmm. su refri, <laughs> microonda mm -hmm. y una moto. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, that they're selling motorcycles like they're selling. White line, like, like yes, uh, electronic. Yes, it is. Wow. It is true. And maybe uh, the people buy a motorcycle and they couldn't write a uh, good about it, and that's why there is there are more accidents too. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, also, the motorcycle. Uh, and normally don't don't have the license license yeah yes for for example in yes. my in my job i i work in the in in a free song uh, there in the police for the first song is don't enter a motorcycle any uh, uh, without license uh, for <laughs> for this reason all men's uh, um, park the motorcycle or uh, go no out out on or free song. And if you if you see in uh, the, the street alone for for alone in in free song is very very. Uh, Full of motorcycles. Full of motorcycle. <laughs> oh I had yeah. a neighbor when I told you where I used to live near La, La Chulona. My neighbor yeah. in that time, I don't know if he still lives there. He used to sell, he used to work in a store that they sell motorcycles. 
And I remember like, I always talk to him, man, the motorcycles are a problem. And he tells me, oh man, you can't imagine. And he is the one that told me, look, it's my job, but he says, it's so easy to buy a motorcycle. It's so easy because I come, ¿Dónde trabaja usted? Oh, empresa Ramirez. Oh, okay. Uh, cotiza, yes. Okay, firme aquí. In two days, okay, lo aceptamos. Here, take your motorcycle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And he, he, tell, he told me, he told me, look, one day, this little kid, he was maybe 18. My friend, he worked in Santa Tecla. And then this kid, he lived in San Martin. Mm -hmm. So my friend called him and he says, hey, look, okay, you qualified for your motorcycle. Okay, so then the kid went, he gave the down payment. Do you know what is down payment? No. Prima. Prima, down Prima. payment. Mm -hmm. And that day they gave him the motorcycle and my friend le dio la llaves. Here, congratulations. Here's your motorcycle. He told me that the kid, he got on the motorcycle <laughs> and he was, he closed his eyes and he was talking. Like he was trying to remember, okay, como es? <laughs> este es el clutch, este es el freno. Mm. And then my friend told him, can you ride a motorcycle? Or this? And he said, de volada, he aprendido en la cancha. Mm. <laughs> and my friend said, imagine from Santa Tecla to San Martin. He was yes. Now, okay, one thing. He can't ride a motorcycle. Can you imagine the stops? Like the rules of, of I mean, I yes. don't know. No a saber usar altos. Mm -hmm. Redondeles. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So like, like Alex said, that's the problem. The majority of them don't have license. Mm -hmm. I think that would be a good business for La PNC. Mm -hmm. Multas. Mm -hmm. Stop every motorcycle you see, you will be rich. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes the police do that. They stop to the motorcycles. Yeah. Yes, it's true. Um, okay, class, then uh, I hope you have a good weekend. Okay. All right. Remember, it's always important to practice when something is difficult for you to pronounce, maybe one word or one sentence, pronounce it in syllables, like motorcycle, Moto motorcycle, mo 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 Yes, I am, I am common sensitive, cultural, you know, I am sensitive, cultural. I mean, if you say it slow, okay, repeat it, repeat it. And that's how you practice your fluency. Okay. Hey, okay. vean, vean Plaza Sesamo, de verdad, en inglés. It's nice. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. La gente okay. que hizo, yo siempre digo eso a la gente, la, la gente que, que, ustedes vieron Plaza Sésamo, ¿no? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Los que hicieron Plaza Sésamo eran unos fumados, o sea, eran, <laughs> ya, yeah, porque eran, eran, ¿cómo se llama? Psicólogos o alguien, alguien que entendía realmente a niños. Mm -hmm. Porque eso, eso era directamente para niños que están aprendiendo a, eh, a hablar, a leer a contar, todo en general. Ustedes prácticamente son niños aprendiendo un idioma nuevo. ¿Ya? Entonces, lo bonito de Plaza Sésamo es que lo hacen, de verdad lo tienen que entender. Y yo por eso les recomiendo, véanlo. Y yo con la facilidad que hay YouTube. Oh, man. I, I saw that Sesame Street Every day. I, I watch it with my son, <laughs> but in English, yeah. not in Spanish, in English. 
I, I watch Sesame Street with my daughter in English. Yes. My favorite is Count Dracula. Ah, yeah, it's very cute. He's my favorite, yeah. He, fíjense que es muy chistoso porque se llama el Conde Drácula, pero como en inglés Conde se dice Count, como contar. Entonces Count Drácula, su pila siempre de contar. He's always counting. And one, two, three, four, five, six. He's always counting. Yes. Yeah, everywhere he goes, he just counts one, two, and his accent, his accent is the Dracula. <laughs> the accent, yeah, it's very, very cute. No, my favorite is Elmo. Elmo is funny. Elmo yeah. And, you know, in esos lugares de segunda que venden muñequitos, yo siempre compro todos los Count Draculas. For my son. <laughs> of course. Yes, I buy them yes. for my son, but no. They have some here, look. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but any... I, have, I have a Cookie Monster. Cookie Mo Do you know that Cookie Monster doesn't exist anymore? Lo quitaron? From yes. Sesame Street? Because wow. the sensitive, the crystal generation... Oh they think goodness. that Cookie Monster is offensive porque desarrolla un mal hábito de comer en los niños. Imagine how stupid. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. crazy. Throw it a uh, stunt teacher to the crystal generation. Yes, the, the crystal yeah. generation. Great. Yeah. No, but what, what I'm saying is, véanlo, de verdad. Véanlo en su tiempo libre porque el objetivo es que ustedes quieren entender. Si lo entienden, oh, man. Ahí van descubriendo ustedes su nivel. Pero no se vayan a poner a ver eh, South Park. No. Uh, yeah, porque South Park is funny, yes, pero bastante caliche. Mm. Y a pesar de caliche, hay que saber mucho de cultura de la que ellos están hablando. Ya, yeah, porque a veces, eh, a veces mencionan rednecks o algo así. Rednecks, ¿saben quiénes son los rednecks? No. No. Nunca han visto en la tele, por ejemplo, ahí vamos a lo cultural. Nunca han visto en la tele los gringos, gringos así, que viven en el campo, en un tráiler blanco, blanco, uh -huh. que no tienen dientes, el gran pelo. Uh -huh. Son como, uh -huh. se ven todos chucos uh -huh. y tienen bastantes hijos y todo. Uh -huh. ¿Pues ser como the ranch, the, the ranch people? No. Yeah, kind of, ajá, uh -huh. yeah. Y les dicen rednecks porque como son blancos y tienen el cuello rojo, de tanto que les da el sol. Mm -hmm. Rednecks. Entonces, if, if you watch South Park, you need to know a little about culture or what they are talking about. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's like The Simpsons. Mm -hmm. the, do you watch The Simpsons? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, The yeah. Simpsons has a lot, a lot of culture that you maybe you don't understand. No han notado Apu, el hindú. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he, he works in a store, right? Yeah. ¿Alguna vez han visto a alguien más trabajando en esa tienda que no sea él? ¿O si tiene empleados? No, no. it's only him. Así son los hindús. <laughs> <laughs> Ellos son los, casi todos los 7-Elevens. Are, are, uh -huh, are Indian people and they don't like mm -hmm. to pay They work all day. They, they, if it's necessary, they work 24 hours a day. But they are good people. They work hard. They really work hard. And so that's why it's funny. In The Simpsons, when they go to that store, morning, night, anytime, is, Apu is always there. <laughs> Apu. Yes. So that's cultural reference. But maybe you won't understand that part. So, but I promise you that if you watch Sesame Street, you will understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I recommend you. Y después, if it's maybe too easy, the beautiful thing about YouTube, you can go next, next, next. Okay. La familia del barrio de next. Vean películas G. In English, okay, watch, listen to this. Um, movies are qualified G, 
G is general. Mm -hmm. So that means if you watch a movie like Toy Story, you know Toy Story, right? Yes. Toy Story is general because a, a five-year-old and a 75-year-old can watch it and understand it. It's in general. No violence, no sex, no indirect, no subliminal message, nothing. Next after G is PG, parental, parental guidance. Okay. Maybe, maybe, no, no violence, but maybe alguna broma va a ser. Entonces, mm -hmm. tiene que estar un padre. ¿Ves, hijo? Eso no se hace. Y así va, y después va R. R. Mm -hmm. Restricted. Restricted, yes. That's for 17 and up. Mm -hmm. Maybe violence, nudity, maybe. Y, y después XXX. <laughs> but, you know, mm -hmm. but... I recommend you to watch movies. You see, that's the difference. Do you want to watch the movie because ah, I'm bored, I want to watch a movie or because you want to practice English? I recommend you to watch a movie, say I'm a big, maybe you have seen it, it's with Tom Hanks. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you know Tom Hanks? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, in this movie, he makes a wish that he's a little boy and he wants, it's his first movie. So it's this very old movie. Very old, old. But it's a beautiful movie. Yeah. And he goes to a fair and he likes a girl <laughs> because he was short. So he makes a wish that he wants to be big. And the next day he wakes up and he's an adult. Yeah. And he has to live like an adult. But this movie is PG. The, the vocabulary is very simple. The story is very simple. When I do my classes, personally, we watch movies. And I stop the movie every 5, 10, or 20 minutes. And I tell the class, OK, so tell me, what, 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 what happened? Oh, the little boy, he made a wish. Why did he make a wish? Because he couldn't go to the to the roller coaster. Yeah. And what happened? Mm. The next day he woke up. That's that's what you need to do when you watch a movie. Okay. Pero no vayan a ver esa. ¿Cómo se llama la de Leonardo DiCaprio? Que se va a un manicomio. Ah, uh, the, the Mr. Island. Yeah, don't watch that, man. Know, porque yeah. creo que ni él entiende. Ajá, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, so... Be, because no, it's a very good movie. Yes, but imagine if I ask you, can you explain that movie to me? Yeah, it's okay, like very complicated. Yes, it's like why? I don't know, teacher. Because <laughs> it's no, you know. <laughs> Incluso ni recomendaría a Shrek porque Shrek is un poco ya un poco Shrek ya hecho más para adultos, no para niños. Shrek is for adults. Yeah, so. Watch movies like that. Bang Mary Poppins. I don't like Mary Poppins, but it's a, yeah, maybe I like it, but you know, but it's, 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 what you need to do is comprehend and maybe repeat, repeat what they say. Hey, entendí lo que dijo. Okay, repeat it. Así se puede estudiar uno. Tienen unas herramientas que, Hoy hay unas herramientas que creo que nuestros padres no tuvieron o, o nosotros quizás no tuvimos en high school, pero imagine we have YouTube, we have internet, we have, yeah, so practice that, okay? Yes. Okay, then, thank you very thank much. You. I hope you have thank a you. very, very good weekend. Thank If you. anything, thank please you. write to me, write to me, but send me like a personal message. Because sometimes I, I look at the chat and 50, 50 chats. I'm, oh my God. <laughs> you know, and I have to go one by one, but see, I, you know. But it's simple to do If you ever need my help, write me directly. Okay? Okay, okay teacher. Bye-bye. Okay, Thank, 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night.